What's up, guys? What's up? It's What's Up Friday. So, my son cut the ends off of these scrap AC condensers and they're on the bucket. You can get the shot. And the next step is to use this tool here I bought. That I bought, that I bought, that I bought. Not too long ago. To cut the ridges down the center. So cut the ridges and pull these tubes out of here. I mean, cut lines down, pull the tubes out. It's a little bit of time, but uh, you're able to make a little bit more money. And what else do we do with our time? Assess that kind of that kind of thing. Yeah. So that's the plan with this guy. I thought I got a new blade for it too. I'm not sure if I'm going to find it now. Well, I lost it already. I'll find it eventually, but, uh, yeah, got, a new, got a new blade for it. I'm just stuck in the box. Probably not. So that's what's going on with that stuff. I'm tripping over everything. Yeah. Then we're gonna use these two vices here, put them in a together and see if we can use it for crushing wire. Crushing that wire there. Run right through a crusher and then you can take and yank the wire out of there. Don't know how that's gonna work. But, uh, yep. And let's see. We're back on the back side of the by a storm I went through, so. so this is what we got going on. Sun's out. Boy. You know when you don't you go for weeks without the sun and then you get the sun out, it's hard to get used to. Yeah, I don't think I could ever live where it's warm all year round. I would miss I would miss complaining about the snow, I think. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But uh driver looks pretty clear. I could use a I could use the uh, four-wheeler and scrape this down, but what would be the point of that? It'll just make it slippery. It's all bumpy now, but anyways I was headed down and back to do something. Do something today. Shouldn't. Because it's the Friday after the short week, and uh, should use a four wheel or two here and make a path through there. But no, 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 no. I'm just prompt on through there, you know. Just prompt on through. Boy made a path down here, so I came to the conclusion of the conclusions. I'm going to put some plastic up in that garage and and then kind of tarp it off you know so we have one section that we can work in and I can heat with that little heater but I don't know not cheap for say cheap cheap the plastic 100 foot roll um, 100 bucks no $79 $79 for that mm -hmm. the son wants me to along here because it's on a hill and we slide sideways he wants me to get cut this flat here, 
So here. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Any ideas how we can do that? Cut this flat right through here so we don't slide sideways. Yeah, it's kind of nice having that sun out. What do you think? Yeah, till tonight when it's the sun goes down and then it gets cold. It'll be cold. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. I know it will. So, I'd like to share in that Jeep that I was working on. My experience with that, but, uh, yeah, not, not today. I'll have to show you in the video all about it. Special video, a special video for me. 73, yeah, special one. Yep. So, getting in here. I had to plow this all out because my son was gonna work on his truck. <clears throat> so plowed this all out and then he didn't use it. Yeah. So the deal is, is get some plastic. I don't know if I did it before already. Put some plastic above over to somewhere in here. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to tarp it up against that and bring it up to the rafters across to here and then droop it down and bring it back from the door this way and, um, and bring it back this way somewhere or other so we have a tarped up blocked off area that I can use that heater in. No, I guess not. It's frozen all that snow there. So, I haven't plowed through here yet. Yep. Because we had it all blocked off over here. Just a stomping through the snow. Yeah. Well, there's my shovel. There's a squirrel in there. Running back and forth and everything. I would never know where my shovel's at. This is still a mess in here, but less of a mess. There's that motor. It looks like a bigger motor, don't it, guys? I don't know what size it is. Can you make out the size? Make out the 110, that guy there, and I don't see right there, 1720. I see that there. You guys make out exactly what size that is? I don't see it, but uh, yeah, that's what that is, and I just got the wire running in the back, I think I showed a video of that, the wire just running in there, so that's not really that old a motor, see the, it's got dual whoop de doos it's really not that old a motor, so but I don't have no reverse versus switch, no lever, no nothing. I could use it back there. But uh, I would have to reach over. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Yeah. Because this is a switch it came with, I guess. My understanding is from the guy. That was on the front of this. He gave it to me. He said, It's old. It's old, you can keep it with that 1929. I'm sure that's not the original. I'm sure that's not the original for this. What do you think? I don't think so. Oh. 
up. Yep. So anyways, this is the guy that's and now we'll just sit here. What do you think? Anybody bet? Anybody betting? Well, it's 40 degrees then. 40 degrees. I don't know what that's for, guys. You know? I don't even see that. Well, it has a three quarter horse motor on it. This is about all we need. It's pretty sturdy. That's why we picked it up. We're gonna get a wider, wider blade on this thing. Get rid of this wood one. And uh, Tubacane just did a, a band saw dealy where he slows it down or speeds it up. Or, uh, oh, I'm dead off, huh? Stuck on forever. Woo! Lost that, didn't I? There. Yeah. Well, it's wide enough. It's wide enough for a bigger blade. That's what we need. It's old enough that uh, it has more integrity. I guess that's the word I'm trying to say. More, more apt to put up with the abuse versus the other guys. The other guys. But uh, I think I already showed the knuckle-headed design of the covers. The covers. Knucklehead of the covers. Yeah. I like that. All right. Yeah. This should be the same way as the other one. There. Two covers. Yeah. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. And I'm not sure if we're going to put something on the table. Keep it from getting dis destroyed or not. Probably. If I put something on there, it's already been bent. If you can see that, get the shot of that, that rod being bent. So, yeah. But I don't know what size blade that is. It's definitely wide enough to put a wider blade on, though. Which is a plus. I think. But uh, didn't measure it. Didn't measure it. Did not measure the blade to figure out what size it was yet. So we'll be doing that sometime soon. See if we can either order some blades. I have a fr friend of mine I know that. He has a blade welder, so he can weld me up some blades if I get the bulk material. You know what I'm saying? But I'll have to figure out what's what the um how many tooth do I want? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? That's where we're at there. That's right there. And then the story I never told you about the plastic incline. Yeah. So all this wood here needs to go over there on top of that stuff. This all needs to be moved out of here, I think. It'll give us some room in here. But, uh, yep. I'm already starting to save stuff in here. I've got too much stuff.